Okay and welcome to this episode of J-Man Can Allotment Diaries. As usual I'm going to try and keep it fun and entertaining. What I will be doing today, as usual I'm going to try and have a couple of parts. One of the parts is going to be literally a bit of an update on the plot about what I've been doing, what I haven't done, what I intend to do. And then the second part is going to be actually doing some work. Now. If you've been following my journey, thank you very much for subscribing and following the journey, commenting where you feel relevant. Now, last week, the week before, I put my potatoes in the ground here, so that's done. Now, what I'm hoping to do this week is put my turnips in here. I've got my turnips ready that I'm going to put in here. I am going to have a trusted helper at the allotment today. He's going to be helping me and uh, telling me what to do and be my supervisor. But fingers crossed, today, the turnips will be in the ground just over here once I've actually taken out more weeds. Okay, so this is a bed number two. This over here is bed number one. This is bed number two. These are where I'm gonna start putting my turnips in, just on that side there. I'm gonna put my turnips in on that side over there on the top left-hand side corner. But So what I need to do in the first instance is, I need to just take out some of these weeds that I've developed here and um, once I've taken out the weeds, hopefully I'll be putting the turnips in the ground here and then later on there's other things that I'm putting in. So first and foremost, take out all the weeds on here, throw it on the side, put it in here and then I'll put them and I'll dispose of the weeds accordingly. Okay, so this is the turnips that I'm going to be putting in and let's have a look. When did I put them in? I put them in, I first planted them on the 17th, 27th of February. So as you can see here, these are the leaves of the turnips. We are now February, March, April, first week of May, so uh, a couple of months in, and these are what turnip leaves look like. I always wonder what they look like because they're so similar to cabbage. Now, all I'm gonna do is prepare the ground, then slowly take these out, being careful not to damage any of the roots of the flowers, and then put them in. Okay, so I've taken out all of the weeds and it's time to put it in. So what I'll do is, first of all, just dig a nice hole with a fork making sure all the soil around where I need to be is kind of loose. Um, it is actually quite windy and then the hard part of what I'm going to do is actually going to be separating the plant and uh, put it into the ground. But again, separating it gently, put it into the ground, forking it in nice and uh, keep it nice and tight and loose, make sure there's no air pockets. My trusted assistant has came and dropped off my gloves. I'm trying not to dirty my hands because I'm trying to do a handful of things at once. Um, press it nice. So now that I've just put the last one in place, um, it's definitely been a lot more. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Hard work than I thought it uh, was going to be because you had to first of all separate all of the, the plants and the plants and the roots and sort of like separate all the um, all the bits and bobs out. The whole time trying not to damage any of them and then getting the root as far as you can in the ground. Um, and then now I've got all of them planted. I did one row, two row, three rows. I ended up doing four rows of 12. Some of them were bigger than others. Like you can see on this one, that, that's, that's got a lot of foliage and leaves, some of the others haven't. All that's left to do is give them all a bit of a watering. I'm going to give each one a good bit of watering uh, and then once I'm watered it, I'm debating to myself whether or not I should actually um, cover them up to protect them from the wind. Uh, it is quite a, a windy day. Now I have bought something with me, but a sheet of plastic that I intended to put over. Um, However, the sheet of plastic actually goes long ways as opposed to this way. So I'm, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Oh my God, I can't believe it. A slug has already... Oh, a slug over there. Sorry, I don't like slugs. Uh, a slug had already uh, cottoned on to um, a piece of uh, something that I've just put in the ground there. So I think what I'm going to do is... I was debating about this. I'll quickly show you. Okay, just to protect them a little bit. I was debating about putting this over like that, okay, and then trying to get all three of them in was proving a little bit difficult. I think I can just about manage to get that one in there. 
Okay, so that was, there we go. So, managed to get that in there. And just to protect that. Okay, sugars. Um, in there like that. So that was one, uh, that's one thing I was gonna do. Just to protect it a little bit from, from the elements. Um, and then the other thing I do is like I said, I'm gonna put a piece of plastic over it, but I don't know if that's gonna be effective. Let me do a bit of work and come back to you. Okay, so as you can see today, what I've done is I've uh, planted my, my turnips. Uh, there is two actually there because I couldn't separate the roots and they're too strong. I'll kill the, uh, i get rid of one afterwards uh, when it becomes strong. And what I've done, because I want to protect the um, mouth, it is very, very, the last thing I want is the wind to come and actually not come over. Um, is I've built this kind of um, uh, squash. Now, all it is is just a piece of uh, plastic fabric it's going round. And what I've done, I've put a stake in there and I've put a stake in there. Let's just back up a little bit and I can show you. So, a bit of temporary cloche there. So, a piece of plastic just going round. Put a stake in here, stake just there, a stake in there, made a bit of a cross shape. So, it just sort of like goes in over like that. Now, the reason why I've done that is, like I've said, it's quite windy. And the last thing I want to do is get my plants that I've been nurturing for, um, which I reckon about two months. Um, to die as soon as I've put them in there. So all I've done is built this bit of a cloche over here and I've got one row here, one row here and the last row along there. So hopefully they'll be protected by this. All I'm gonna do is put something at the end just here, stop anything else going in there. So I give it a good watering and that's in there now. So fingers crossed, that's my turnips done. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for watching J-Man Can Allotment Diaries. It's been a long day today. I thought I was gonna come in with the turnips in it, it took a hell of a lot longer than I thought, but I managed to get it done. I'm excited. Give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe, follow my journey. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Have a fantastic couple of days until you see me again. Bye-bye. Smile. Hooray.